Wouldn't you like to extract microplastics using an automatic preparation device? Microplastic pollution of rivers and oceans is spreading globally, and the impact on ecosystems is becoming a serious concern. Therefore, active monitoring surveys and research have been carried out in recent years to obtain scientific knowledge concerning the distribution of microplastics in many countries. The survey process starts with sampling, and followed by preparation, microplastic extraction, size and count measurement, and material analysis. In order to accurately perform these measurements and evaluations, it is important to properly remove contaminants such as plants and organisms present in the sample. Here we will show the process from preparation to analysis using the MAP100 Microplastic Automatic Preparation Device and a Fourier Transform Infrared Spectrophotometer for a river water sample. The MAP100 is an automatic preparation device for extracting microplastics from environmental surface water. It automates typical preparation methods. The entire process takes place in a reaction vessel, and only microplastics are trapped in a collection filter. This preparation process consists of sieving a sample, digestion of organic compounds with a hydrogen peroxide solution, density separation with a sodium iodide solution, and extraction of microplastics. In particular, the process from digestion to extraction is complex and time-consuming. Additionally, manual preparation can lead to high variability between operators and laboratories. Furthermore, handling reagents is not safe for operators. With the MAP100, you can automate the process from digestion to extraction, save on labor costs, maintain safety, and improve reproducibility. This is a sample collected from a river in Okinawa. Microplastics are extracted from samples in this condition. The operation starts by setting the processing conditions using the MAP100 dedicated control software. You can easily set the time for each process and the number of times to repeat each process. You can check the progress of the process since the process takes a long time. Estimated completion times are also displayed. This is useful for planning experiments. This time, we conducted digestion for 3 days and gravity separation for 3 hours based on the guidelines of the Ministry of the Environment. Now close the lid and press the start button to begin the preparation. This is what it looks like during the digestion process. As time passes, the sample becomes transparent. And you can see that the contaminants have been properly disposed of. Next is the separation process. Sodium iodide solution is injected from the bottom of the reaction vessel. The final step is the plastic extraction process. Plastics that are lighter than the specific gravity of the sodium iodide aqueous solution, about 1.6, are floating. An aqueous sodium iodide solution is injected from below, and the microplastics in the supernatant are collected on the sieve. These are microplastics collected from the sample. We pick the collected microplastics and evaluate their material quality using FTIR. Analysis can be easily performed using a single reflection ATR attachment. The obtained infrared spectrum revealed that the plastic was polypropylene that had been degraded by ultraviolet rays. It is possible to perform highly accurate material analysis using Shimadzu Original UV Damage Plastic Library. The MAP100 makes the extraction of microplastics automatic and easy. Please refer to the application news for more details.